Ladies and gentlemen, the American jury and Bulldog Nation, I mean what this title says. Now let me lay the foundation. Years ago, I coined the phrase, America's three pillars. And what are those three pillars? God, the Constitution and Bill of Rights, and capitalism. In my 90-minute video, which is now at 250 and 150, 400,000 people have seen this video so far and counting. It's pulling people to my campaign. I state in that video that I will fight and defend all three of those pillars of this country and in Kentucky. Now the other day, I get a message, and I forget if it was a text or a post, and somebody asked me if I would defend the Constitution to the death. And unless I was willing to do that, he would not support me. I didn't flinch. I responded, absolutely, I would, res I would defend those to the death. And let me explain. Those of you that have been following me for a long time know that I love telling the story of Leonidas and the 300 at Thermopylae who laid down their lives to give gr the Greeks two or three more days to get ready for Xerxes' invasion. Lay down their lives. How about those 240 some odd men at the Alamo who laid down their lives? Bowie, Crockett, Travis, Bonham, and all the rest laid down their lives to give Sam Houston a little bit more time. It wasn't even necessary. Houston would have preferred to have him, but that's what was on their mind, to give Sam Houston a few more days. These politicians today, they won't give up their office much less their lives. And look who is running for governor of Kentucky. A bunch of full-time, all the front runners, full-time politicians. They don't want to give up eating at the trough of government tax dollars for you and me. It's so bad, they're campaigning full-time while taking their taxpayer check from us. Folks, I do not fear death. I used to. Many years ago, I used to fear death. Now at 59 years old, I've experienced death all around me. What do I mean by that? I've had many loved ones die. And as you get older, more and more of your loved ones die. I just experienced the terrible loss of Dominic Romeo, or Romeo, I always call him Romeo. The bottom line is, I see it, and you know what? Somebody like me that believes in God, believes in Jesus Christ, has lived his life to the fullest every single day like I have. I've made my mark. I want to make a more mark helping people, cause of helping people. I don't fear death at all. Do I want to die? No. My mom and dad are both 93 years old. I got good genes. As I'm sitting here talking to you right now, I have zero health issues, not one. I don't even have arthritis in the finger. I do know that that random cancer can strike me down, just like it strikes down my friends and your friends every single day. I have a couple dear friends right now who've got terminal cancer, and their time with us is going to be short. But I do not fear death. And you know what? If there is anything, anything worth dying for, it's what? Your loved ones and this great country. Think about the veterans and the soldiers who have given up their lives. They died, young men died for this country. They die every day fighting for this country. Our founding fathers were willing to die. Many of them did die fighting for this country. There are so many founding fathers that aren't in the lexicon of the founding fathers because they died fighting during the American Revolution. People like Otis, people like Dr. Warren, on and on and on. They didn't get the name of Franklin and Jefferson and Washington because they didn't live long enough. I hope I don't have to die, let's face it. Chances are I'm not gonna have to die, but I can tell you one thing. Unlike all my opponents, I'm willing to die for Kentucky. I'm willing to die for our Constitution, our Bill of Rights. I'm willing to die fighting for you. I'm willing to die broke, busted, and living in a barn fighting for you. This is the Bulldog. Every dog has their day. Have a great day.